<laughs> What's happening, y'all? Welcome to the Let Me Dress You Out Show. It's a terrific Tuesday, babies and ladies and gentlemen. Babies, ladies and gentlemen, it's a terrific Tuesday today. I need all y'all participation. See that cash app at the bottom, dollar sign, boogie BLLC, right off the top, off the dribble, off the scoop, off the doozy. I need you to hear that first. What's happening, Miss LaWanda Woods Griffin? You got the top boogie badge over your head because you done cracked the cheat code to get these badges over your head. You done came enough times for you to crack the cheat code. You and my vice president is here five days a week with me at the Let Me Stretch You Out show. What's happening, Brandon Beverly? You got your little top boogie bro badge over your head as well. Yep. I want to say what's up to everybody that's watching from at whatever time you're watching. This could be, you could be watching this in 2022 or 23 or 25. However you may see fit, but you might be watching this at a good time and I want to say what's up to you. Thank you for stopping and checking out the Let Me Stretch You Out show. Uh, this is the meet and greet portion of the show. I always start with the meet and greet and then I go to uh, um, the conund- I mean, then I go to the stress out if I have one. Or I go to the conundrum of the day. And then I go to WWBBD. That is the What Would Boogie Be Do portion of the show, which is coming up towards the end. But I have to pose you with a doozy first. A conundrum. Something that in a relationship you have to be high IQ to handle. Something like that. I'm going to hit you with today. I'm going to... I'm going to hit you with that later on, but right now is the meet and greet portion. Emars, what kind of damn name is Emars Gar? Emars, is that what that is? What is what? What kind of name is that? Let me introduce myself to you, Emars. Krishan, what's happening, baby? Y'all already know how this go. What's happening, Brandon Beverly, Leanna Menes? Let me see, Amy Rose with the sauce. I know you in here. Shawana Shanks, what's happening, baby? Let me introduce me to y'all in the meeting, greet portion, and y'all to y'all as well. You know what? I think it'd be better if I did it like this. You know what? I think it'd be better if I if I did it like this. Hold on. Oh, what's happening? Oh, let me see. I don't see it. I don't see it. Uh, e E Mars, E Mar, E Maris, E Mar. What is it? E Mars, E Maris, E Maris. Put it like I'm supposed to pronounce it. E Maris Gore. Where you from, E Mar? E Maris. Is Angela in here? What's happening, Angela? I missed you. I can't kiss you, but you official. My girl Angela is back in the building. That's my old yeah, She ain't been here in a while, but she used to come through in style. You can believe that there. Hey, Angela, I missed you, baby. Let me talk to him right fast before I keep going. What's happening, Ashmore? Ashmore, Amore, my Sherry Ashmore. Written little one that was as it got them E Mart E Mart East E Maurice E Maurice E Maurice Okay E Maurice Kathy Okay yeah Conrad what's happening Yeah you know how we do Conrad this time of that freestyle I'm Boogie B and I'm the Rose King Let me stress you out Post quarantine Everybody stopped up on they saw let me fuck But I'ma come through with New Orleans flavor Comedy soldier joke Rambo putting green in my team like my team Lambo My team getting stacked and we're going ham bro But I'ma stop this rapping and tell a damn joke Let's go Hey it's the let me stress you out show let me stress you out. Y'all gotta say out show when I hit that part. Hey, hey, hey. It's the let me stress you out show. Out show. Yeah, y'all got it. Ah, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My girl Angel, Angela Landry is back and I'm in it's gonna be trouble. Hey now, hey now. Angela's back. What's happening, Angela? 
Y'all don't remember that. Some of y'all might be too new to even remember Nan Angela. She used to come here throughout the whole quarantine. She spent her whole damn, she spent her first and stimulus and second stimulus on the Let Me Stress You Out show. She spent her first and second stimulus on my cash app. I promise you she did. She used to come through every day and put that chicka ching in there. She put that chicka ching in the chicka ching. Angela is back, yes, baby. I know you've been working, so I know you. I'm like a whole, I'm like a whole drunk ass uncle. They be happy to see you. Ain't seen you in a while. He know you doing good. He come up to you happy at you. How you doing there? Ah, look at look at my knees. Look at my knees. Hey, girl, you doing good. Look at you. <laughs> Ooh, I missed you. You still, oh, you still doing it too. You got your little big. Ah. Look on those knees. <laughs> niece, it's so good to have you home, niece. I have missed you. I missed you, Angela. It's so good to have you. You know what? Your uncle been doing pretty bad. Let let your uncle hold a couple on on them a few more of them dollars like you used to. What, what, you remember what you used to hit me with? <laughs> you remember when we used to go to the thing? Hit me with that same amount again in the cash app. I appreciate it because <laughs> hey, I appreciate your niece. <laughs> Oh, Angela, I'm just, I know, Angela, yeah, you, you must have been doing something. You got in your little relationship or something, and your ass ain't stopped coming. Now, let me chastise you, because I know you used to come every day, and then all of a sudden you stopped coming. I'm going to tell you what happened. I went on your page. I saw you hugged up with your little new dip, and I said, look, old Angela, old hot cat ass. Got up with a new dip. Next thing you know, I ain't seen nothing to let me stretch you out, show in 17, 18 uh, weeks. I said, where the hell, as I keep going to a page, they hugged up, they taking trips, they eating this shit. Angela used to be single when she used to come up in here. All of a sudden, somebody put that green apple jolly rancher stick dick on her, and she couldn't even come to the Let Me Stress. She couldn't even take the time to do what she had been doing for the whole pandemic. That dingling had a blind. She couldn't do nothing with that green apple child around that nigga put on you. Tell him I said it too. T tag him in it. That nigga who put that put that good dingling on Angela had her not coming here. She talking about, she talking about, no, 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 my ass. I know where you been at. Because when you was coming in here, you were single, and you were talking about how single you was. Soon as I see you on your relationship with her hugged up, then all of a sudden you ain't coming no more. You just in my A. You just dip. Yeah, I say, yeah, that nigga got that green apple Jolly Rancher stick, dick. He, he got the same type of dingling I got. I knock you off the internet, too. He knocked Angela Cooch off the internet. Ain't that some shit? Hey, hell I mean. These niggas got some powerful ding lean out here. There's niggas out here on CMOS. These niggas is putting some top shelf dick on girls to make them just stop watching their good old program. How your grandmother used to call it your program. You ain't even, you can't even watch your program on TV. Because of that ding lean He done got you stopped. He done stop you from what? He done stop you from watching good times. He done knocked you onto a Sanford and Son. He done. Knock you off with Sanford and Son. He done, he done, you used to be on the heat of the night. That nigga came and knocked you onto the goddamn. He done knocked you off to, onto Criminal Minds. You ain't even watching none of your old shows no more, your old programs. Hey, Lexia Renee, baby, you know Danielle with the D, you know I know all y'all is my book ass. But I know y'all gonna get caught up from time to time. <laughs> and when you come back, I'm still gonna chastise you because I know what you've been doing. I know you've been hoochie coochie out there, Angela. You nasty heifer, hot cat. Angela done left, let that nigga put all that thing lean on her. Let me talk to him for a second. Angela ain't want all that dick on her. She ain't need all that. Why you gonna put all that penis on my home girl like that? I can't even get her to come to the show. She didn't ask for all that. She just wanted a good man to come into her life and enjoy her company. She did not ask you to knock her off her square. She did not ask you to knock her off the Let Me Stress You Out show. She ain't asked you to knock her off Instagram and Facebook. She ain't know you was gonna come up in there with all that meat you came in there with. No, hell no, Angela. I got to talk to you, baby. You can't come here a little while and then try to dip uh, for a long while and then just disappear, then pop up months later. You, ah, uh, uh, hey, what's happening, everybody? Where the fuck you been there, uh, friend? 
You know what I'm saying? I love you, Angela. I need you to come back. Look at look at E. Maurice talking about dingling. Yes, it's dingling. I say dingling because it's hard. Like before you could cuss. You remember before you could cuss? You don't have a dingling. But trust me, when a do before a man can start cussing out loud, that dingling is harder than it ever been. All he think about when he's young. God dang, he's 13. Damn, my dingling is hard. Ooh, my dingling hard under the desk. You can't even. You can't even do your homework that dingling so hard when you can call it when you have to call it a dingling. You couldn't say your you couldn't say your uh, you couldn't call it a dick yet. Your mama will bat you in your mouth. You gotta call that the shit that I possess. I my shit young again. I'm on sea moss. My shit back to that old age. My shit back to a 13 year old horn. My shit pop up at the drop of a goddamn dime because that sea moss. And them damn verb energy bars. Let me tell you something. This ain't no sexual shit, but this is a verb energy bar. A verb is an action word. This what y'all need to order. Order your verb energy bars. The link is in my bio. Each one of these plant-based bars is one cup of coffee. Can you believe that? That's one cup of coffee worth of energy, and I don't drink coffee. So damn right, I'm on my verb energy bars and I want y'all off that coffee as well. Have the foolie bit. Have the foolie bit. Foolie bit. Foolie bit. My home girl, Heather, done came back. She ain't been, she done missed about a couple of days too, but that's okay, Heather. I'm not gonna chastise you because Angela was gone for a long time. My own girl, Angela Langela. Y'all better get on tune with her. She already a boogette. She just ain't been here. What's happening, Sandra Williams Fletcher? Let me tell you something. Send you some Sandra. I'm gonna send you some, all right. I'm gonna send you some trophies for the for the senior citizen name of the day. Sandra, look, listen. Let me tell you something. They ain't naming no newborn babies no Sandra. Ain't gonna be no baby Sandras. Sandra, look a baby Sandra. She's so pretty. Who gonna say that? Nobody, cause this is 2021. Ain't nobody naming no babies no Sandra no more. That's it. You the last of our friends named Sandra. So damn, Sandra, you got the senior citizen name of the day trophy. Yep. Hell the fool, Vic. I knew it. I knew it. Hell the, that's my white book at Hell the fool, Vic. You know I got to give her the, y'all know she white by her name anyway. But I already gave away my senior citizen name of the day. But let me give Hell the Lefouvic or Foolavic is what it is. Foolavic. Hell the Foolavic, you get the trophy for the Caucasian name of the day. And you know you're a back-to-back -back champion, but that Caucasian man that you got is putting that ding calling on you. Because every time I look up, you done disappear for three, four days. I'm like, damn, where the hell? You'll come every day for a minute, then all of a sudden you're gone for three, four days getting you real. You're gone and let that dude, you letting that your little boyfriend is poking a hole in your body. He is poking a brand new hole in your body every time. That's what got you to sidetrack. You can't even come to the Let Me Stretch You Out show like you was. Oh, my gosh, Heather, I tell y'all, boy, what? Y'all ladies be letting this dingling take over your life. And see, when I talk about it, you get mad. Sex ain't everything. Sex ain't everything. Yeah, it ain't everything. But when you match that good sex up with that perfect connection, ooh, hallelujah, that's what it be. That good sex and that good connection will make that dingling go to a level that you have never felt in your life. Shawana Shanks, come on now. I'm, I, I'm trying to heal y'all. This is the church of Let Me Stress You Out in Christ. Pastor Bakami, then Boogie B, a.k.a. the Lord know my heart. What's happening, my partner Trey Elliott that came through the motherfucking chat? Ooh, I said, what's up? <laughs> they know they know me up in here. <laughs> oh, my, all my Martin watchers, y'all ain't gonna, y'all gonna know exactly what I'm talking about, but me and Trey Elliott speak that Martin Lawrence. Most people I know speak that Martin Lawrence. That nigga went to the DMV, that nigga Martin. I don't want no regular job, because you know the people know me out there. She said, boy, don't nobody know you. That nigga say, oh, you don't believe me? Watch where I'm going with mine. <laughs> that nigga looked around the unemployment office. That nigga said, what's up? I say, what's up? That nigga looked at angry man was sitting right there. That nigga said, man, set your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, 
What's happening, Ashley? Donnie Scott, oh, what's up? My own girl, that's my book at trying to take me on a date. I said, oh, no, baby. You got to change that profile picture before we can go anywhere. I don't, I don't roll like that. Ah, uh, you got to change that profile picture for me. E. Maurice got got his endorsement. So let me see what E. e. Maurice. That must be some foreign name, right? Yeah, it's probably a foreign name. Yeah, E. E. Maurice, e. Maurice Gore. Your name. You got the non-American name of the day. You got the not not award. I'm gonna give you a show as well. Cause who the hell? There's some names that white people look at it and be like, ah, so next up, especially Americans, ah, hmm, this next guy I am looking for, his name is, uh, Emerice, Emor, Emer, 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 ah, Gore, last name Gore, G-O-R, uh, come on up, uh, Abelo Inglés. You be like, damn, nigga, I'm from America. But they still try to pronounce your name fucked up. You got to deal with the disrespect. That's why I got, that's why I give you the Nana Award. I have a reason for all these trophies that I recognize y'all names with. I have a reason, a good, solid reason for giving you a trophy. Because of the plane and shit that you had to go through and being named that your whole life. See, Lori, you had a good, that's a good little name. Lori, I'm Lori. Hi, how are you? But goddamn... Uh, Dania Diamond, Dania, what is it? Dania Diamond, let me tell you something, baby. Dania, they always know you black. You can't even use your white voice on the phone. <laughs> you try to use your your white voice, white people be like, what's your name again? <laughs> Dania? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> sure, I thought you were white. No, never mind. Uh, I'm happy. <laughs> Power to the people. <laughs> <laughs> the Neil Diamond they be judging the shit out your name. <laughs> you get your trophy too for the two black parents name of the day. That means that both your parents was for sure African American if your name is Dania. Especially as D U N I Y A. Ooh, that's some old black shit there, boy. Your name came from the hills and valleys and peaks and mountainous region of Mount Negrosa. Where you can see Negroes grow. It's a mountain way up there. Only two black people can go up there and procure a name like Dunya. Dania. Not to be confused with my own girl, Heather Fulovic. Her name came from another mountain. It's, um, it's the Secaucus Mountains, where you can see Caucasians. We call it Secaucus. Mountain. Only white people know about it. Some of y'all might not know about it. Make sure you share the live, whether you got your trophy or not. Share the live. Angela, where you at? I know you better not be done left either. You better not be done left. What's happening, Nick Hammond? Share that live. Yeah. Shawana Shanks, share the live. Yeah. Yep. Everybody, y'all already know. My OG book has already know what to do. What's happening, Shawana Shanks? Okay, Lachelle, what's up, baby? Drew, Drew Atkinson from New York. You already know you my boogie bro. There's no need for no trophy there. No unnecessary struggle and strife. Now, this is the Let Me Stress You Out show, ladies and gentlemen, where I will roast somebody on your behalf. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Ooh, you see I hit that note? Hey, come on now. I'm glad y'all in here. My got my damn Teresa Davis touchdown. You already know what it is. What's happening, Joe? Is that Joe Abuku from Nigeria? I know that ain't Joe Abuku in here. Which Joe that is? Is that Joe Abuku? If it's Joe Abuku, let me talk to you, Joe, real quick. Let me stop the show and talk to Joe, okay? Joe, listen, let me tell you something. My Nigerian buddy, I, I love you. I need you to look out for the country, okay? I need you to look out for the United States. All these scams that y'all doing over there in Nigeria, you need to talk to somebody. Talk to your youngins. Talk to them young boys that's out there scamming. Them old college-educated-ass Nigerians is out there coming up with new and improved ways to scam every day. Oh, y'all took it. Y'all taking the, the unemployment fund. Y'all taking a whole damn unemployment fund. And, and I know y'all get this from white people. It's the white people over there teaching y'all these scams in college. 
And then y'all get out of college, can't find a job, and you resort to stealing uh, money off people, uh, food stamp cards, and uh, prepaid visa cards, and chime cards, and uh, uh, PayPal's, and all kind of scams you're running, and you're telling people to put this money in your bank account, and take the money out, and give me half of the money that they put. What the hell, y'all look, or uh, Nigerian people, y'all will have to get it together over there, y'all stealing people. Unemployment money. Oh my God! I just saw y'all on the news today. I say I gotta talk to my Nigerian partner when I see him. Joe, I'm glad you came today. Just tell your people to talk to him. Spread the word of goodness. Tell them don't take nothing from um people who ain't got it. Cause y'all ain't stealing the money from the damn rich ass. Uh, Donald Trump at y'all ain't taking the much money from them. Y'all taking the money from niggas who work at FedEx, Walgreens. You're taking people's identities that that need they little shit. They just built they little credit up working at the Home Depot. They just built they little credit up with their new business they just started. They ain't even made no money yet, and here your ass comes stealing their identity. Hey, Joe Buku, I don't want to chastise, but I don't want to stress my Nigerian people out, but I need y'all to come on one accord and stop stealing the money from the people who ain't got it. Now, check our accounts. Check my account before you steal my shit. Check and see, do I got something to give you if you're going to steal my shit? If you're going to break into my cash app, check my cash app and see how much I got first. If I ain't got nothing in there, don't take none of my shit. Go to somebody else's page who got one of them rich white folks or something who don't need the money. My money is safe in a bank. No, it ain't safe in a the bank. The Nigerians gonna know how to talk it out of you. Yeah, tell them your boy Boogie B from the United States, from New Orleans, Louisiana, the home of Hurricane Katrina. We patiently ask the Nigerian community, brothers and sisters, to stop all that damn scam. Stop coming up with new Western Union. Y'all come up with all kind of new ways to steal. And it, it, it's a scam of that shit. I'll be like, every time I check an account, every account I've ever had, I done got scammed on it. I done got scammed on Uber. I done got scammed on Cash App. I done got scammed on IG. I done got scammed on PayPal. I done got scammed on Western Union. I done got I done got scammed on MoneyGram. I done got scammed through my bank account. Every way you could possibly be scammed, Boogie B done got scammed that way already. And I'm tired of it because I got to keep getting back on my feet after y'all take my money. Sometimes I even get the money back, but I be like, damn, why would you put me through that? You know I ain't got money like that. I ain't got money to be comfortable without the money that you took, that you scammed out of me. Scam somebody who got money. Shit. Scam, check their account and see if they got 1.5 billion or one or 200 million or something in their account. And you scam them out of $5,000 or $3,000. Don't scam Boogie B. Because you scamming me out of my last 350. I ain't got no keep 350s to keep sending y'all on in vain. American appeal, American comedian, <laughs> comedian appeals to Nigerian scammers. You got damn right. I'm going to appeal to them. I'm going to appeal to the court of Nigeria. If I have any influence left from our ancestors, I would like to put in that simple request. Stop scamming us, at least. Stop scamming people over under a certain poverty line. Shit. Scam people way above. Scam, scam people that's upper class, not upper middle, not lower middle. Look at, do y'all research for y'all, y'all smart as hell. Nigerian dudes be smart as hell. Hey, they, they went to college, they doctors, they lawyers, they everything over there. Them boys are smart in Nigeria. And they slinging dick. And you would think that they would be a little more kinder to other people and more compassionate. Lord, I got 350s and eight twenties. I give you these three fifties if you're rolling with me. The rest going on the hotel. I ain't got no whole lot of money to spend on Gucci, let alone the gift of no Nigerian stammer. Come on now, you know better than that. Check my account. Just check my account before you steal my shit. Check my shit and see if I just hit a link or just did something. But check my pattern of spending. 
See what I'm working with before you steal my shit. Y'all ain't doing y'all proper research before you scam folks. Hey, scam them folks and they ain't gonna miss it. You can scam a 200 millionaire out of 5,000 and that's nothing to them. And it's great for Nigeria. 5,000 American dollars in Nigeria, you can buy a goddamn apartment bill. Shit. I should get one of my videos. Okay, anyways, Joanna, Jojuna, I got a question to ask all y'all. It's important. <laughs> artist Bell, what's happening, artist? I'm glad you up in here. Yeah, I got I got something for you, artist. Artist Bell, senior. Yeah, I got an important question to ask you. This is the time for the portion of the show where I need y'all to help somebody that put a question in my inbox about their relationship. Y'all ready for this? This is going to be a little uh, town hall meeting. This is going to be a Boogie Bee town hall meeting. Y'all going to say what y'all feel. Then after that, I'm going to shut it down. And then I'm going to say, what would Boogie Bee do after y'all say what y'all say? Come on, shout out Jones, baby. I need you. <coughs> Did y'all share that live? Hold up. I ain't even share my damn self. I forgot to share the live. Hold up. I'm going to pay you for dinner in a hotel room. Who is that said that? Somebody in here. Who I can't have. Oh, that's Ashley Denise Carter. Denise. Ashley Denise Carter, old horny ass, coming in every day trying to solicit Gucci. Listen, baby, I'm a high value. You, you know, you got the A. Hey, it's a little tougher than the average. You know, my it's a strenuous process when you're trying to get some ding a from a top flight nigga like myself. Let me show you how to share this live first. You got to share that. I thank you for sharing that live, too. I saw it over your head. Yeah, press share right there. Press right post. Post it on your page like so. And then share again. And then you can swipe up on the camera. And then you can just press it to everybody. Send, 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 send. Boogie B, send. I'm sorry, I said to some of y'all, y'all already in here. My bad. Hey, but it is what it is. I need everybody who can come in here to come in here, shit. I'm sending everybody, I'm sending everybody, my shit. This is the Let Me Stress You Out Show, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, let's get this shit started real quick. Let me ask y'all something. People show Boogie B some love, thumbs up, thumbs up the show, thumbs up my heart. So thank you, Shada, you are internet savvy, I see. All right, Shada, I need you here every day. I don't know where you've been at, but I need you in here every day to school the folks, to tell them what to do, okay? I need you to tell them about their internet protocols and procedures. I need my social media department. I need me a goddamn social media department to come in here every day. Shout out. Thank you to do it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ashley, to these Carter baby for sharing the live and coming in here slinging coochie. Don't worry. Somebody's going to be in here to receive that coochie one day. Might not be me, might be anybody else that come in here because I got some, a lot of cold-blooded dudes that come through here. You might check one of their pages and that coochie might jump off your body and run and get in the shower. So, hey, you never know who I know. Just hang in there, come to the Let Me Stress You Out show. That coochie will cool off. It'll get cooled off one way or the other. Robin Hood is dead, okay? Good. Melissa Ann Parker, let me ask you this. I know you're at work, baby. Let me ask you a quick question. Damn, I forgot what it was. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, let me get back on track. Yeah. All right, Brandon Beverly, let me ask you this. Because a lot of y'all like money, like a lot of y'all about y'all bags, so to speak. A lot of y'all about y'all money, getting husband, getting your little change and all of that, and that's good. But let me ask you this, Joanna Jojuna Johnson. Let me ask you this. Joanna Jojuna Johnson was kind of like my new Angela. She came through hitting that, hitting that cash out with a stimulus check as well. And I'm glad she put that shit. That's how the world balance shit out. What's happening, Charlene? Colin, come on home to me, Charlene. What's happening, Cheryl Clark? Okay, Cheryl, you, you, where the hell you been at? Talking about you a fan. Where you been at? I've been coming on this live for a whole long time. You just, you just showing up. Okay, good. Carmen Rodriguez, good. Glad y'all here. Let me ask y'all this. Would you 
if, if your parents was had an inheritance, Lord Dale, and they said that they don't like the person that you dated, break up with them or you won't get your inheritance. But the fact is this, Jojuna, think about this, take this into consideration. Yeah, but that what you hit my cash out with, Jojuna, that was like a stimulus for me. What's happening, Lord L? Yeah, inheritance or love? Would you lose your inheritance for your love because the D or D is great? Or oh, that old hot cat is good? Let me tell y'all something, fellas. Lord L, Arnold, um, Lord L is a woman, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, Lord L, a woman. Yeah, Lord, Lord L just got an old southern ass name. Uh, uh, Lord L and Arnold or something like that. Brandon said, why don't he, they like her? I, it could be any number of reasons, Brandon. I'm not saying what it is. I want you to use your imagination and just say your people don't like her for whatever reason. If you're a guy, what if they, if you married this chick that you love, she got that, she got that love that you want, that love that you need. Word is bond is butter, baby. She got that butter love coochie. You got the love that I want. You love her. She got that good, great, high level vagina. But maybe she's white. Maybe you're black. Maybe, maybe she's black and you're white. Um, maybe she's a gangster. Maybe she's a. Maybe she's a, a gold digger. Maybe she's a. It, she could be anything. There could be any number of reasons why they think that. But she not that. She they just may have perceived her that way, and they feel like the bottom line is you don't need to be with her. But you love her. She love you. Y'all ain't having no problems. Y'all ready to get married. Y'all ready to move towards. Y'all ready to move towards the mountain top. And the promised land and all of the things that you would like to have in America. Where would, where would take me out to dinner if you had the chance? Ashley, come on now, focus, baby, focus. Get your, take that mind off that hot vagina you got dripping down your leg. Pay attention. <clears throat> Heather says she needs details. Woo, Brandon Beverly said they sound petty. I could put a price on my kids' happiness. I couldn't put a price on my kids' happiness. So you're going to lose your inheritance and keep the woman, Brandon Beverly says. Heather Fuvik still needs the details because she's one of my good white baguettes and they like to take on, they, not the, they, like, the hot, they like to get the hypotenuse, hot, uh, they like to get the thesis hypotenuse angle of every question that they could possibly come up with before they decide what they gotta have it all. Uh, uh, um, Lord L says she choose inheritance over love. So she gonna break up with your ass. I don't care how good that dealing you think it is. I don't care how good you have this Gucci. I don't care about no none of that. If my parents say you is a no-go, and I'm lose my five million dollar inheritance. I'm out of there. But some of the, some of these parents got a little policy you don't even know about. They got something saved up for inheritance for you for a rainy day. You ain't even know what's coming. But they said that you're gonna lose it if you keep messing with that nigga Boogie B. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Yeah, I don't like no goddamn comedian. You're, you're coming here. This is how your dad is. You're coming here with a, in the house with a goddamn comedian. What is a comedy? What does he think he's doing? He ain't funny worth a damn anyway. And she told me she love that nigga. She buried that nigga. I'm taking, I ain't giving her none of that five million dollars that I got saved up for. When I pass, I'll leave it to the dog. Hey, hey they, they'll do you like that sometimes. Y'all know how this shit go. One of my bookettes is in this situation right now. Y'all, as y'all know, I don't make shit up. I have a real person in the comments that's really going through this. They about to get that five milli, but they got to break up with who they with because their parents is like, if they done wrote it into the damn wheel, if, if she with that tight ass nigga Raheem, 
when we pass away, she is not to get nothing. I will leave all of the money to the Salvation Army or the United Negro College Fund. Now, Deborah, what you what you gonna do? You picking the love over the money? Deborah, it's a, I ain't saying that's a bad thing, baby. I'm just trying to get y'all opinions right now. This is the portion where y'all say what y'all would do, and then I'm going to say what I would do in about, um, in about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, I'm going to tell y'all what I would do in this situation, but right now I'm going to read all y'all. Let me see. Michelle, I'm talking about something. Wait, five million? Hey, hold up. My vice president say, wait a minute, nigga. Damn, he ain't saying what that much. Woo. Five million? That's a ooh. Camille said, five million? Shit, I'm out. I ain't on... Mm -hmm. Girl, you never find another love as good as this. Woo! So you better represent. Cause my meat is the ah. Bye, baby, bye, baby. Y'all remember that song? That ding a ling is the bomb, baby, bomb, baby. And I'm a good nigga, and I'm handsome, and I... Hold up, let me tell you what was going on in your relationship thus far before your parents intervened. Before your parents intervened, your relationship was going swell. Shawana Shanks. She is. Shawana Shanks said, I'll buy you back when they die. I'm going to break up with you now, though. Don't let my people catch you around my house, because they going to trip. I'm going to just, you know what, just hang in there. With they ain't got, you know, maybe they got about 15 more years left. And that 15 more years up, then, hey, I, I'll come get, make sure your man. Hey, Amy Ross with the sauce. Listen, now I'm going to walk up, Laura, I'm going to walk up to your man saying, how you doing, sir? I used to date Lori Park. Uh, my name is uh, Billionaire. Comedian Boogie B. Uh, I have here my checkbook, and uh, I would like to know how much you really like Lori Park. Huh? What is it? One million? Is it two million? Huh? Is it three million? You know you gotta keep licking the pin when you about to hit him with a big number. You gotta, you gotta keep licking that motherfucker until you hit it. You don't fuck around getting ink poison and licking that bit. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me another number. He talking about I would, I, I would never do that. I love the girl. I ain't never do that. Oh, you do? Oh, you love her. Oh, so you love Lori Parks more than you like $500,000? You like Lori Parks more than you would like this $1 million to break up with her? Huh? Because she's going to have a good man. She's going to be well taken care of. And you will too, because you don't make even, you only make twenty thousand dollars a year. I'm about to give you one million dollars. That's your whole life salary for this nice young lady I like to call Lori Park. When I used to have her, they used to call her Jobo. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Y'all remember what you burned it back? I don't know why they popped into my head. <laughs> hey Joanna, I might be like. Well, I'm going to go buy Laura back, Laura back after 10 years. I'm going to become what I like to refer to as a rando bando. Y'all know what a rando bando is? That's a random abandoned uh, person. It's a random abandoned person. Somebody has abandoned them. And now they randomly in your inbox. Now they randomly just popped up. You ain't seen them in since cash money took over from the 99 and the 2000. All of a sudden, they done popped up Rento Bando style. And they like, hell, well, well, let me buy you back. Because I just got this little money. I broke up with you because my parents wouldn't give me the inheritance. But now that they done passed on, I was like, oh, here you back. I'm in a relationship with me and Rashad. Me and Rashad in a relationship, and we ain't like that. He ain't gonna, we, it ain't about no money because I love him for him. I love him to his core because my parents would have gave me something I wouldn't even took it because I love uh, Rashad so much. Next thing you know, I'll be like, oh, you do love Well, let me see how much Rashad loves you. Five. Five. Me. I'm a billionaire. I could give you five mil for your lady. I could easily give you the five mil for your lady. Come on, Shawana Shanks. You gonna buy him back? Okay. 
Yes, yeah, so I what you say it's a taco Tuesday. I don't really eat it. I don't really like no tacos like that. I call it a two-piece too. I call it a two-piece Tuesday. I'm about to hit you with that two-piece. It's two-piece and a biscuit Tuesday. It's a terrific two-piece and a biscuit Tuesday. Y'all got a question on your hands here? It's a conundrum up today. It's a doozy. Some of y'all is off on this one. I don't know what, how we gonna all agree on this one. How old are the parents? Does she have to wait until they pass to get the money? I would lie to the parents and keep my relationship on the top. Mm. Amy Ross with the sauce is going to get busted mine. They going to have somebody, they going to fuck around, find out you been fucking around shy. And you're going down. You ain't going to, you going to fuck around, get caught. You going to get caught giving Rashad that Gucci somewhere in New Orleans. Y'all going to get caught at Mardi Gras. Y'all going to be at Mardi Gras uh, behind the, uh, y'all going to be in the alley of Mardi Gras trying to have sex on, y'all going to be right over the levee trying to have sex and get busted and end up on the tabloids and then your ass will lose your inheritance, five million dollars, because you want to sneak and go be with Rashad. You see how that works? Some of y'all try to sneak around. And sometimes sneaking around you ain't gonna be it ain't gonna work. You're gonna have to make a clear, you're gonna have to make a clear commitment at some point. Lake Shay Renee said it's a setup. They just want his ass gone because they don't like him. That's true. They don't like him. It's your parents' money, five million, and when they pass, you gonna get it. If you break up with that regular ass Rashad. Rashad ain't no regular nigga. He a good nigga. But your parents just said that they don't want you with him. You know, he a, he a comedian. And he don't make no damn money. He ain't no damn comedian. He ain't funnier than Mike Epps. He ain't funnier than Cat Williams. He ain't no goddamn comedian. I don't want you with him, Shotta. Let's see, that's 26 thumbs. Thank you so much, Shotta, for my social media department. Put some more thumbs. In there, y'all tap on the screen or whatever it is. I don't know. I can't do it on this side. I'm sorry. I can't touch on my screen and make nothing happen. Y'all gotta do it from y'all. Y'all gotta do it like this. Let me show you. Hold up, my bad. Go like this and go like laugh or go like heart or go like thumbs. But I will prefer for, for life. Come on, put that in type. To do that like that on your phone. That's what she asking you to do. Thank you so much, social media department. I appreciate you. Now, might this might go on for a long time. Turn up. That's Ashley. Yeah, that's Ashley. I knew it. I don't know why Ashley's always like me, too. Ooh, I'm going to have to tell y'all my Ashley story tomorrow. Shit. Dang, I can't be free to be with my man, no kids, no marriage. That's right, Vice President. The man you love, he done already proven to have penis that's point to proof, if you will. You have heard of part to prove penis? They have some dudes like Boogie B that has on their body something called part to prove penis. I will prove a part on you and real fast. I will quickly, because I drink a lot of this. I eat these verb energy bars. I'm on sea, this plant based. I'm on sea moss, everything. So I'm ready to put some birth to prove penis. I done proved it to you. You love me, you wanna be with me, your parents meet me and be like, you know what? No. Nope. You won't get your inheritance if you keep eating boogie beef. What you gonna do? But mom, I love him. I want to marry him. I want to be with him. I love him so much, mama. Please, mommy. <laughs> oh, some of y'all gonna start begging. You know you need that five million. Mama said, you know, I'll take you out this five million. I'll give it to the dog before I let you have it and fuck around with comedian Boogie B because it got all that dingling and all that mouth. I don't like him. He's too mouthy. He don't let me stress you out. So running his mouth. He's not going to be with my daughter. 
I don't approve of it. My son works. You know how I go. Parents do it all the time. They try to manipulate and control you, but it's for five million. Is you gonna take the deal or you gonna break up with your person? Now, ain't no sneaking around shit. All y'all trying to take the easy way out. I'ma just slick dick them. Yeah, I'ma just keep slick dicking up. Fuck around, you gonna get the girl pregnant, try to slick dick and lose your inheritance, and you got a new baby. And now look at you. Look what you did. Brandon Beverly, you tried to slick dick the girl against your parents' will. They told you you're gonna lose the five mil. If you if you broke the deal and you snuck round and snuck round and put that dingling on Heather Fulovic for so long, next thing you know she done popped up pregnant. Now you done lost your five mil. Now your mama and them about to pass away in two years and you're out of your money already. They done gave it to the they done gave it to the uh, United Negro College Fund. My last word, I'm I'm working on 46 years old. I'm, I think it's fucked up that my parents try to control their kids' money. It's crazy to me. I would never buy my child off their chosen partner. It's none of my damn business. We all make our own choices. Thank you so much, Elder Fulavik, for coming in here on your Maya Angelou shit. You came in here on your poetic shit today, I see. Thank you so much, baby. You at work getting your getting your stimulation from your finances. Yeah. Get that money. Get that cash out. You know how this shit go. I just wanted to make you think about something different for a little minute. Okay? This is the Let Me Stress You Out show. You ain't even heard what I would do, but I'll take that advice into consideration, Mr. Uh, Elder Fulavik. Fugelvik, Fugelvik, Fugelvik is what it is. Hell yeah, I love this. Good man, I would love my life and stand my ground. Vice President said she chose love over monkeys. She's taking a man over five million dollars. Yep, they may have may lesser but substantial. Yep, Amy Ross with the sauce says, she says love as well. Okay. Let me soak that in. Let me take that in. Uh, some of y'all gonna take love over five million dollars. You're going to stay with your person. And you're going to give up your inheritance because your parents don't like the person that you date. You about to marry or you, whatever. Y'all getting, and if your parents say, no, Robbie G.C., I don't want you with them. I'm 60 years old and I don't want you with them. Anyone who has been divorced, no love will come around again. <laughs> Merry go round and round. Y'all remember that key sweat? Merry good round, round. That's what I love is a merry good round. She says she's taking the five million. Five million only gonna come around one time. But that love is gonna come around multiple times. That's not Boogie B. That's what. That's not me saying that. That's Robbie GC saying that. Shada said, some parents work hard all their lives trying to leave you and don't have shit to take off a man or a woman, but put you through bullshit, think beyond what they asking of you. Ooh, think beyond what they asking of you. Shada Jones. Shada Jones, the social media department. What's happening, Andrea? Andrea said, are the parents old? Yeah. Look, at Andrea thinking about, you know what? I might wait my damn parents out. Shit, how long? You know, my daddy got that sugar diabetes. He ain't going to be there hanging there that long. <laughs> boy, Andrea, boy, look how we do. Look how we do. $5 million got us thinking about that. You know what? How long they going to be? How long my parents going to be? <laughs> it, but it's usually in inheritance situation that the lawyers will control this even after the grave. 
So even after your parents die, you still ain't gonna get it because they left it to the dog. Or they took or they gave it to the lawyer to give to they to give to their damn great niece. Oh Lake Sharonate. Oh Lake Sharonate. I see that. What you type in that comment? Let's go. Oh, 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 I gotta do. Hold up, I'm gonna have to do the WWBBD portion. Lake Sharonate, just come to IG. And I'm gonna come on and go with me after I go to um after I go to IG. Let me do that. But let me tell y'all the WWBBD portion of the show before I go. What will Boogie B do in a situation where I have a choice to make whether I'm going to take love or five million dollars inheritance? Now, be this just for me. This ain't for y'all because I don't know y'all living situation. Just for me, I'm going to have to go with the five million dollars. And I would just have to let it go down like it go down because guess what? I'm going to need that because I'm going to need that five mil. I'm going to need the promise of the five mil. And if we really in love like you say we is, it don't matter whether it be 15 years later. You still going to love me, ain't you? Well, shit, come on back. My parents ain't going to be that long, I don't believe, even if they is 20 more years. I think we can hang in there. I'm going to be old. You're going to be old. But love never fades. What y'all think? That's what y'all believe. It never fades. Okay, well, it ain't going to be faded. <laughs> hang on in there, baby. I'm going to have to get this money. Now, my parents don't work hard for this money. Now, they can... I need this too. Now, this is a capitalist society. I ain't going to want me if I ain't got shit. If I don't take this money... And I, uh, unless you prepare to take care of me like you're supposed to, and I ain't going to have to work, then you better let me go get this five mil unless you got five mil to give me in order for me to hang in there with you. Because I can't afford to take these type of chances. I can't afford to fuck around be done passed away and never got my damn money because I done struggled to death broke. I couldn't figure out my own way to get no five mil. If my parents had the type of money to leave me five million, they probably already giving me some good little change every now and then when I need it. Too. Hey, once they once they pass away, shit, I'll spend that money first, and then if they oh I'll be done double or triple that money. So if they ask for it back when I pick you up, then I'll say here, here you go it back. Yeah, I done already took that five million. I done flipped that into fifty or twenty million. I got twenty now stacked up. Here go five for you back to the fund because I can't get that coochie no more. I'ma get back and get that coochie like I never left it. I'ma get right back in that thing after fifteen years. After I done double that money up. If not, hey, you know, it must wasn't it to be. My parents must have saw something in you. I trust them. They must have saw something in you. Maybe you was about to kill me. I don't know shit. Maybe you was about to try to kill me for the insurance money. I don't know. Women are very deceptive these days. Y'all be on snapped all type of shit. My mama got a discernment. I feel like she might have knew something about you. I'll be like, hey, you know what? If she feel that strongly about it, hey, you never mind. I done had plenty of coochie before. I done had plenty of good coochie. Sorry, I done had plenty of good helpers. I done had plenty of good Danielle's. I done had plenty of good Lake Sharonais. I done had plenty of good Robert GC's. So if I have to squander one, it's no problem. I've squandered them before. Nisha Scott, it's been great women that I've let go over $50. I done let them go over 50 because she wouldn't let me hold a 50 or something. I done broke up with a whole good woman because she didn't uh, want because I wasn't on my feet. She couldn't loan me $50. I said, you know what? You know what? I'm out. And that girl turned out to be an amazing woman. I blew it before, and I will definitely blow it again for five mil. I will definitely blow it again for five mil. I'm sorry. I apologize, ladies. I love you, know, Robert GC, but shit, it's a plenty. There's plenty of titties out here. Now, you chocolate and tall and pretty with your titties. But I'll, I'll love it, and I'll be loving it from the internet. I'll, you ain't going to get me caught up and lose my damn five me. Because when I get that five million, you're going to be like, okay. <laughs> what happened with your parents and the little five million? Did you get it? You're damn right I got it. 
and I done flipped it in the 20. You still want something, you know, you still want to do something. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I want to do something. They can take that five million back now. Shit, I done already got, I done tripled this money up. I was about to tell this ass up for all time fake. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to tear this ass up for all time, one time for the one time, like they say. I'm going to tear it up one time for the yeah with the yeah, baby. I'm going to put that yak on you. It's going to be 20 years later. I'm going to still be in good shape because I got $5 million. I'm going to still be in good shape. I'm going to still be looking good, and it ain't going to matter. I'm going to tear that ass up when I can get to it. I might have to let it go for the five mil because my parents don't play. My mama got a, she, cause she might, she might have seen something. I might have fucked around, stayed with your ass, and damn, end up chopped up in the damn basement or something. I done got caught cheating or something. I done got caught cheating or something with you later on down the line, and you done chopped my dingaline off or something, or chopped my, one of my balls out or something. Hell no, my mama probably was trying to save me. My, my mama and daddy, my, my daddy passed away, but my mama might been trying to save me. I'll be like, nah, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my mama word over this. I don't, I don't, I don't fuck her control, right? I feel like she might know something. I fuck around, cheat on your ass. Year later, I'm in a wheelchair, uh, uh, dingling chopped off, one leg. Uh, uh, you know, chop my earlobe off or something. I look crazy in the ear. Oh, nah, hell no. Because your ass was crazy, but you can masquerade it very well. Some of y'all ladies are very deceptive, and y'all can make a man feel like you love him down to the core of him. Next thing you know, you a whole killer out here. You is a whole damn murderer over some, over because I slung some dick. Okay, yeah, I did slung some dick, but you had to kill me over it. You had to chop my dick and lean off. You love me that much. You had to ruin my life forever. Some of y'all crazy as hell. Some of y'all bipolar. My mama might have figured that out about you. And said it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take my inheritance. You know what? Because I can't afford to go against my mom. She usually be right about some shit, too. I can't take this chance. Robbie G, see that coochie? Good. I appreciate it. Lake Shea Renee, that hell purple. I love it. I lick down your purple invisible part like uh, Tisha Campbell school days. I do all that. But if, if I got to make a church over $5 million, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. I will be licking another part. I live to lick another day. Any excuse is good for five mil. Five mil, that's a hard number to come by. E, you know, it, well, in my current financial status, it'll be a good minute before I got five mil stacked up. It's going to be a good minute. But shit, it's going to be a while. So I, if I could get any type of leg up on that later on, if I could just know it's coming, Jesus. I can hang it down a little longer. So I need mine to come to me, shit. I'm working too hard out here. Because I may never make it. I may, the motherfucker might come to my internet page and be like, uh, Comedian Boogie B ain't funny worth a damn. And I never make it. And I done gave up my five mil, me and you happily in love. I'm broke as hell. I'm goddamn, I'm the third member of Troop. I'm, I'm a nigga, from the, I'm the, I'm the big head nigga from Troop. And I ain't got no, I used to have a career, I ain't got shit no more. Me and you still together. Uh, you know, I'm overweight and my hair done fell out and my mom done passed away and my five million is gone. Cause I stayed with your ass. Now I'm looking like ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real thing. I'm looking like an old drunk ass uncle fucking around with you in this Gucci. Me and you fell off, and now look, we gotta live like this forever. We done squandered. We done squandered. You could have went your way and made your little change. I could have went my way, and made my little change. I could have got my five million. You could have came back out there with fifteen and gave me some of that Gucci. I could have gave him back the five mil, and we would have been loving that. What if my parents would have died the next damn week? You done tripped. You done made me told them to change the whole inheritance. Hell no. You done made me change my inheritance over some coochie. I don't, I don't think I don't think I'm prepared to do so. I love you, but I don't know if I'm prepared to do that. Come on and go with me. 
If you missed it, come on over to IG. My nigga, Jonathan King McRae, that's my body in L.A. right now at Bossa Nova, man. I'm glad you hit me, brother. I know exactly, you know, I just ain't had your number saved, bro. You should have been texting me. Anyway, I'm going over to IG. Let me stress you out show part two. It's going over there. Every day, five days a week. Come on and go with me. Bang, bang, bang. Come on over to IG.